digging along all year long and trying to uh, make these Mustangs run faster. Uh, they haven't been great this year, but uh, our guys have done a good job in, in trying to uh, take what we have, maximize it, and do the things that we need to do. Just really proud of everybody at Stuart Haas Racing. Everyone doubted you guys. Did you guys ever doubt yourselves and think, we're not going to pull this off with four races to go? Everybody who doubted us doesn't know us. <laughs> They obviously know that we thrive in these in these types of situations, and you know a lot of things went our way today, which um, you know we haven't had all year long. Have things go our way and, and have things fall our way, and then at the end we pitted, didn't go a lap down, and you know the caution came out, got control of the race. Uh, that's the thing I struggled with the most today was traffic and the restarts and just having to make up ground. But once I got clear track, that baby was hunting. Kevin, with only four shots to do it, did you think the win had to come today at one of your best racetracks? Well, you, you know, I think as, as, you know, I get that question every week. Uh, of course, course yeah. yeah. But we don't do anything different. You go out and you try to put yourself in a position to, to win the race and, and try to capitalize on a day and put a whole day together. And today we put a whole day together. How about these Michigan fans waiting it out through the rain delay? Do you seem to enjoy this win a little bit more, Kevin? You soaked it in a little bit more. Why? Yeah, it's been a while. You know, coming to Michigan, this has been a, a great place for us, and just got to thank all the fans uh, that stuck with us uh, through this little dry spell. So hopefully we can we can get back to victory lane uh, again soon. You had this moment with Keelan a few years ago, and now you get to share it with Piper. That's got to be fun, huh? Yeah, she's she's uh, definitely trying to get used to it. Are you going to go for a ride with me? You going to go? Yeah. All right, there you go. Right, there we go. There we go. How about that, Michigan race fans? Piper's going to go for a ride. Daddy's going to take her to victory lane. It's a short ride, but it's a fun ride for a little kid. They're going to head off the Ruoff Victory Lane and celebrate to see the team and crew chief Rodney Childers. Kevin says, you down to this, you don't notice. <laughs> and I, you know, to, to hear him say they thrive in them situations, uh, it's, it's impressive. You don't know many teams that can succeed in, in those type of moments when there's frustration. We see other teams, and you know, they get chipper. Uh, not these guys. They stay buckled down. Yeah, I mean, 687 days between wins. And that, that, that's a long time. And, and, you know, we talk a lot about athletes. And some find success and some don't. But Carter, you called it the Delana. He's the closer. Why is he the closer? Because he said that almost with a smirk. Those who questioned us, they don't know us. They love to be doubted. They love to be questioned. Rodney Childers, even then, great job. I mean, he, he just, <laughs> he is as bright as they come, as even keeled as they come. I'm gonna stand up on the <laughs> We're gonna hold on now. Easy on the clutch. He's got the clutch now. You know, you see Piper riding in that car. Kevin's going to lay it up. The front of racing family, our father, John Paul Limble, ran to the Bush Grand National Series. Never quite had the funding. She got it. Uh, he in a racing family. That she was back in 2017. She knows how difficult it is. There's she Delana. has so much appreciation. To be able to be in victory lane, yeah. see how hard they work. She knows the struggle. She Where's Keelan? All I'm just saying, where's Keelan? As a parent, it's so fun to see these kids become I did not see Keelan. Moments. You know, experienced yeah, that. Yeah, being around the sport my whole life and really experienced that for a really long time. I didn't really understand until I became a parent myself. And you know, what a what what a memory that they're creating. Look at the smile on his face. Looking at her, the smile on Kevin's face. That's a bigger smile than I've seen, you know, with any checker flag or trophy. She's waving. What a day. Take a ride right into the playoffs. Now this team becomes really dangerous. That's what I mean. Because they, listen, they, they've not had winning speed, but they, he just said it, they've had consistent speed. And they continue to improve. If they improve in the next 10 weeks as much as they have in the previous? Correct. And how good are they at Phoenix? Well, I know it's a little pre, pre uh, it's a little early to be talking about that, but they're great at Phoenix. And who won earlier at Phoenix this year? His teammate. So, you know, they, they got to have a little more confidence and they just get there. Well, but that, that's the point. I think the point for this team is, okay, now we've got that for a while. We've jumped that one. You don't have to win in the first round. 16 down to 12. You don't have to win. All those guys aren't going to win. The most of can win is three, right? Yeah. You don't even really have to win in the 